So, we will see the physical properties of haloalkanes. So, basically compounds like you know fluoromethane, chloromethane, bromomethane, then chloroethane or bromoethane all these are gases. Up to so beyond that up to C18 they are like you know sweet smelling oily liquids, oily liquids and higher than C18 haloalkanes are basically solids. Coming to the boiling point ok. So, we can see like you know we have taken first fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine substituted methane. So, here the boiling point will follow this way that is bromomethane will have the higher boiling point. There are two reasons for this. One thing we can talk with respect to the molecular weight because the molecular weight or say weight of iodine is highest. So, as per that this one will have the highest boiling point. Apart from that we can also talk about the polarizability of the molecule because we know iodine is more polarizable compared to fluorine ok. So, more, more polarizability there will be more dipole, uh, dipole or uh, induced dipole interaction. So, that is why iodo substituted compounds have higher boiling point and this is the order. Coming to like you know if I substituted the same halogen like so here I have substituted 1 chloromethane, dichloromethane trichloromethane and tetrachloromethane. So, here again I can talk with both respects that is like you know with respect to molecular weight and polarizability. So, this one will also follow this order ok. So, tetrachloromethane will have the highest boiling point. With fluorine there is an exception here ok. So, this one will follow the order like this that is because of the low polarizability of the fluorine atom here. So, this one will have the highest boiling point and more fluorine substituted compound will have the lowest boiling point. Now, we will see the boiling point of isomeric uh, haloalkanes. So, here we have uh, it is basically the position isomerism where the halogen has taken different positions ok. So, we can see when the branch it is uh, there is an increase in branching. So, when there is increase in branching the boiling point will decrease ok. That is because the surface area of this compound will be more compared to this. So, when less surface area the like you know, uh, interaction between two molecules is less. So, you can supply less energy to break the bond ok. So, this is the order for the boiling point of in case of position isomerism. In case of like you know chain isomerism where the alkyl group is getting branched in that case also it is the same thing branching increases boiling point decreases. So, this one will have a bi bo uh, higher boiling point compared to this ok. Coming to the next one uh, like that is solubility with water it is completely insoluble or like no lower haloalkanes are slightly soluble, but higher haloalkanes are completely insoluble. Soluble because there is no hydrogen bond formation between the molecule. When we come to organic solvents that is like you know completely non-polar compounds like you know benzene, chloroform, ether, carbon tetrachloride anything. So, in this case it will be soluble.